Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in Android Authority. My name is Daryl Doak, and this is our review for Office Suite Pro version 5. This is the updated version that has a tablet optimized user interface. And so they've done a really good job of taking advantage of the 10 inch screen that tablets generally have. However, it does have a pretty unified user interface, uh, even in comparison to the phones that you can load this on. I've used this down uh, all the way down to a QVGA resolution on a Samsung Intercept, and really every bit of the content creation is still there, um, except for you have a limitation on screen size, uh, where I really think they did a great job of making a full-featured content creation uh, office suite. Uh, right here from the main menu, the very beginning of opening the application, you're met with this file manager system that really is reminiscent of the My Documents area in Windows. And so here on the left, you have your recent files. These are all the recent files that you've opened. Um, as you may notice on here, there is zips and PDFs also included in with the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. And that's because um, Office Suite is able to extract as well as create zip files, and it also can render PDFs. What's really interesting about the PDFs in here is that it actually works better than Adobe's own PDF um, open, uh, reader program. Uh, it runs smoother, it renders better, and I was really surprised that they were able to best Adobe in you know just something as simple as PDF viewing, and it was really really nice, and I I enjoyed that aspect of uh, of Office Suite. Then the next one down on the list is your My Documents area. My Documents is really an area that you're able to customize. If you go into the settings area here and select the My Documents folder, it normally is defaulting to the downloads area of your SD card, where this one, I was I changed it around to defaulting to my the documents area in my SD card. One of the things that I did find kind of funny was upon setting that, I'd hit my documents here and it would always return me down to the, um, the downloads area. What I didn't realize is all I had to do was reset my tablet and then there, the My Documents area now properly takes me to whichever area I had set it to. So then that solved itself really quick, no problem. So here in the local files, you're able to browse any of the directories that are on your SD card or your internal memory. Um, do note that as you go here through like the My Documents area, it is only able to show you the files that it's able to actually handle. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, zip files, and PDFs are generally all you're gonna see here. So you can't use this file manager area to install APKs or anything like that. However, you can cut and paste uh, and copy all the, the file formats that um, Office Suite is able to manipulate, you're actually able to cut and paste them to different areas of the SD card using this file manager system. So it does work pretty nice. There's also the remote files area, so you're able to sync up uh, any of your Google Documents accounts to be able to save to the cloud or you know load those uh, any documents you have in your Google Documents area. Um, so. Here in the My Documents area, I have some you know, example files set up here. Here is a Word document where I have some bullet points here. Uh, you, do, you can see that, that bold, bolding does work, italics and underline, right and left justification as well as um, being able to highlight any words as well as changing the colors of your lettering. And so there's that over in here. One of my favorite things in Office Suite, and actually it is something that um, that they have perfected in here, which I've not seen in any of the manufacturers, um, you know, renditions of Android, is your content, your text selection. Here, this is super smooth, and it is actually very hard not to get exactly what you were intending to grab. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of different Android um, versions of whether it's Moto Blur or TouchWiz and things like that, that they just couldn't pull it off as well as this. And I really have to, you know, commend them in how well you're able to select um, text here in this men uh, using this interface. Um, you, from here, you're able to cut, copy, and paste any of the text you select also. Here in view, you can zip to the top, go to the zip to the bottom, zoom you know, do full screen and things like that, as well as 
change the formatting of you know your, your double spacing or your paragraph formatting. Um, you can insert pictures into your document files here. Um, you can even sit here and do a word count. It'll just tell you you know how many characters and how many words you have in your document. Um, so that is the word er uh, the word document area. You're also able to look at the Excel spreadsheets. And this is my second favorite thing about Office Suite that I really wish I had on a desktop uh, version of uh, an opera uh, of a office content creation is pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom works great on the Excel document. Um, I really was surprised when I did that on it. I, I just naturally pinched uh, zoom on it and it worked great. And I really wish I had this type of customizability on a desktop Excel client. You can format all your cells and rows as well as insert your formulas and things like that. You know, you can change your, all your justifications again. Um, you have your separate sheets. Everything works really good. I was very impressed with it. Then going over here, you have your PowerPoint slides. So you can do your slideshow on here just to show you a little bit of spread uh, uh, slideshows, except for PowerPoints have never been something that I've done a lot in my industry. So that's not really something that, you know, really wowed me that much because I probably just don't know the nuances of um, these slideshows and things like that. However, I do use um, Word documents as well as Excel all the time. And so I was not really able to find anything in Office Suite that you know, I really needed to do that they didn't have any functionality for. And so I was really impressed with Office Suite Pro. And really, I got to say, it's probably worth every penny, no matter what they charge you for this. Um, I know that it, I think it's normally $30 and it goes on sale, you know, often. It doesn't really matter. It's totally worth it. If you ever do any content creation and you need to do it from a tablet, it works perfect. I love this application. Uh, I can't sing praises about it enough. Um, I definitely got to tell you, go out and get it. Thanks for tuning in, Android Authority. My name was Daryl Doak, and definitely check back with us in the future for other application reviews as well as handset reviews. Thank you.